So the first step that we need to take is uh, step one where we work out our new denominator. Let's see how we can go about doing that. Let's take two fractions, one half and two fifths. And what we want to do is add these two fractions. So one half plus two fifths. How do we find a denominator? Well, all you need to do in this simple methods is multiply both denominators together. So that would be two times five, which equals 10. That's the, the, way, the easy way of finding your denominator. Multiply both denominators. So two times five equals 10. Then you put that over the other side. So there you have it. When you need to find a new denominator, simply multiply the denominators and put the result over the other side. Now for step two. This is a two part step. You need to multiply the left numerator by the right denominator. Then you multiply the right numerator by the left denominator. So in our example, we would take the left numerator one and multiply it by the right denominator five, which will give us one times five. And then you would take the right numerator two and multiply it by the left denominator two, which gives you two times two. Those are your two numbers. So let's repeat the steps again. Multiply the left numerator by the right denominator and then multiply the right numerator by the left denominator. Now you should have two numbers. What do you do with these? Let's move to step three. So in step three, what we now do is we add the results that we got from step two, add them together. So we saw that we multiplied the left numerator by the right denominator, that was one times five, and then we multiplied the right numerator by the left denominator, which is two times two. So we have one times five plus two times two is five plus four. And now we add those together as our new numerator. So then the last thing you need to do is just do the sum. Five plus four over 10 equals nine over 10. So there you have it. One half plus two fifths equals nine over 10. And that's the simplest way to calculate or to add dissimilar fractions, fractions with different denominators. So just a recap of these three easy steps. First step, multiply the denominators together and that will give you your new denominator, which you put over the other side. Step two is in two parts. Multiply the left numerator by the right denominator and then multiply the right numerator by the left denominator so that you get two numbers. And then step three, what you do is you take the results you got from step two, the two different numbers, and add them together on top of your denominator, which you found in step one. And that's the three steps which will help you add any two dissimilar fractions. In the next video, I'm going to explain to you why this simple method isn't always the best way to do things. In fact, you often don't want to use this method. It's okay when you have two fractions that you want to add, but as soon as you start getting to th three fractions or more, then this isn't a very good method. And we're going to learn a more advanced method of adding fractions um, that had different denominators, especially when you have three or more fractions. So look forward to that video that will be coming soon.